So, are you a master of the mattress? <laughs> I mean, this might stay in. <laughs> this is a viewer announcement. The person who's usually confined to post-production were left unsupervised to create these videos. The creative team at In The Mess apologise and recognise the error of their ways. These people have the emotional age of two-year-olds and require the equivalent level of babysitting. We now realise this. Thank you. Here's step three of our suturing mini-series. And a slightly different technique to have a go at, the purse string suture. Purse string sutures, they're quite niche, but are still used quite a lot in clinical practice. The commonest thing they're used for is closing wound drain sites, chest drain sites, or old feeding tube sites. This technique is designed to close a defect in the tissue by essentially puckering it up. So you have to be mindful that it may not result in the most cosmetically appealing scar. So if in doubt, check with your senior before embarking. Again, make sure your patient is appropriately comfortable and your wound is appropriately numb. The idea of this technique is to go around your wound in a systematic way, starting with a backhand suturing technique with your needle. And it needs to be pointing the opposite way than you'd use for simple interrupted suturing. And you're following your path around the circumference of the wound. Here, you'll see us take four bites to make our way around but some wounds may require more or less, as you see fit. When you reach back to the start, having been all the way around, you can then tie your knot. This is an opportunity to hand tie in some circumstances too. See our video on that. As you pull it tightly, you should see the defect close and the wound edges pucker up nicely so that there is minimal tension on the edges and they can heal well. And that's you. Like and subscribe so you never miss a thing. <laughs>